sure I have these very nice GE Energy Smart CFL bulbs. I'm not really a fan of CFL bulbs, but these are no exception. Yeah, they just, they're just a fire hazard, but these aren't like too bad though. If you use them correctly, they're not that bad. They provide good quality light, so it's an energy smart, longer life, they like cool color tone, and sit on CFL bulbs. It's hard to find 600, 500k LEDs, has limited warranty, all that shit on the box. Contains mercury, 6500k, like I said. It lasts 11 years if you use it correctly. You shouldn't turn it off and on before, like, it's completely warmed up, though. This is where it's made in, not living in that state. It's control and dividing light, all that. Nothing to say. So, let's open the box. These are very nice for what they are. I only have one bulb. I hope I find more of these. Seems solid. It contains mercury though, so you gotta be careful. Like HID lamps have it too. Those linear fluorescent lights have it. These are just older lights, but they're pretty good. I like LEDs better, but this isn't bad at all. It's very nice for a light bulb. So I'm gonna screw it in and turn it on. I'm gonna pause the video. Just let's let this warm off. It's not completely dark out, but in in real life, it's way darker than in, in this video. I have HDR on, so it's just gonna make everything brighter, but just the light from the window, but HDR is good. Sometimes it's just too much, but I got it on. The bulb is off, let's start it up. Where was the delay there? Let it focus. I know my frame rate's gonna drop, but whatever. I'm just gonna make this video a little longer. See it warming up. There's like lines inside the tube. Mercury is like igniting stuff from the filaments down there or whatever they are. These don't get too hot like incandescents. So you can touch them when they're on for like a second. But you gotta be careful. It's, it still will burn your hand though, if it's been on long enough. It's not completely warmed up yet. You can still see it warming up. It's really nice for a daylight bulb. It's actually easy to look at, it doesn't hurt your eyes. Yeah, I can stare right at it. It's only 800 lumens though. 825 lumens, I meant. We're almost at full brightness. It takes a while to warm up though. Take a look at the camera, see if it's warmed up. It's a lot brighter now, I think it's completely warmed up. So let's see how bright this thing is. If the camera can focus. This is a good camera though. It's very nice and bright. I like it. It looks pretty good. I believe this is 90 CRI, which is good, better than some LEDs. I still can't compete to these way but LEDs are the best overall so I'm, I'm gonna turn it off and screw it into the my outer light fixture so let's move on you can see it turn off 
It's not too hot. Touch that. Start the stopwatch. Just let this warm up. I'm gonna pause it for a second. Oh, look at that nice bulb. Yeah, it looks like we're at full brightness. It's pretty nice. It's bright. Not too hot though. I can look at it though, but it's very bright for what it is. Yep, this definitely casts the 90 CRI. 6500k glow. Very nice. Here's what the bottom of the box looks like. I'm gonna pause the video because my camera can't take this little light, but it's a nice camera. I know the iPhone 14 will do it though. I don't think it's dense at all, no. It takes some time to warm up completely. But it's still pretty nice, so. Yeah, this thing has been on for 3 minutes and 14 seconds. Got my thermometer out. It's been on for almost 19 minutes, still ticking, still waiting. Taking a long fucking time to warm up. I fucking god, can't fucking wait. Oh my fucking god. So, it's been on for 20 minutes. I got my temperature gun out. Let's see how hot this thing gets. My room's 69 degrees. I got my AC on. Show you evidence. But that. And that's where I'm gonna stat. 69. It's about two degrees off, but not a significant difference. So let's see how this light bulb gets. Not crazy hot, but 180 degrees can burn your hand. Yeah, you don't want to touch that for more than like a few seconds. Yeah, it gets pretty hot, actually. Well, an incandescent gets up to like 300 degrees for like a 60 watt bulb. This gets a little cooler. But yeah. So you if I could touch it. It's not like too bad. You don't want to leave your hand on it. So, yeah, very nice. Very nice bulb. I'm gonna turn it off now.